In this episode, I'm going to show you how to uh, set up and uh, execute uh, an app that uses uh, push notifications. <clears throat> We're going to do this in a few uh, different parts. Uh, this first part is uh, going to show you how to set up the app within uh, Titanium and also uh, show you some things that need to be done on the Apple portal in order to support all of this. Okay, so let's first start by creating our application. We're going to do a Titanium mobile project. And I'm just going to select through the defaults. Um, my application is going to be called My Push Test. And I'm going to need an app ID, and this is the app ID that I'm going to uh, create on the Apple site. Um, but I'm going to set it up here with this name. Um, 12.push, I'll call it my push. And this will just be for uh, iPhone. And in this, uh, uh, in this application, we do need to make sure that it's cloud enabled. So I'll go ahead and click on finish. And this will, uh, this will create our app. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, that's the first part. The, the next thing that we need to do is we need to go on to the uh, development portal and create <coughs> uh, an app ID. Um, if, you're, uh, if you're in the course, um, you won't have to actually do this portion of it, but I wanted to show how this was done anyway. Um, you have to create an app ID. And so I'm going to go here and click on app IDs and give me app ID. And I'm going to name this CSC 3F12 push. And I'm going to use that same app ID that I put into the app. My push. I believe that's what I called it. Yes, my push. Okay. And then click on submit. Okay, and then uh, after I've done that, I need to go to the actual entry within um, this interface. So here it should be this one here. And I need to click on configure and I need to enable this app for push notifications. And we're just going to work with the development push certificate and we click on configure. Uh, and so now the next thing that I need to do is create a, um, I need to create <coughs> um, a signing uh, request um, within the keychain. So I'll click on OK there, and then I'll open the keychain access. And I will request a certificate from the certificate authority. the CSC 33F12 push and save to disk. And I'm just going to put that on my desktop. And I'm going to then load that in here. Should be on my desktop. And go ahead and generate it. Okay, uh, now that I have that completed, I'm going to need to download this. So I'm going to go ahead and download it. And once again, I'm 
just going to go ahead and double click on the certificate. Um, and what this is going to do is it's going to load this into the keychain. And you see that here. I'm going to need to export this um, from here because I need to load this into um, the Titanium website. So minus three, three. Um, push Athena license. Save and then I just need to give it a name, a password for um, verification. I will need to use that password when I go to the um, when I go to the uh, Titanium website. And this is just the password for my keychain. So uh, one more step, and then we will be done with uh, setting this all up. What I need to do is I need to go to the Titanium website. So I'm going to go to my.accelerator.com. And <clears throat> I'm going to go to my apps. And then I'm going to look for the application that I created within Titanium. I believe I called it My Push Test. So I'm going to select that. And then um, you might want to make sure that you've got this selected for development rather than production. And go to Settings. And you're going to put this push certificate um, into. Uh, um, this box here. So I need this uh, 383 push unilicense P12 file. Put that in there and then give the password that I've provided. And now my, uh, my push certificate uh, has been um, updated and placed on the site now. What I will be able to do is once I <clears throat> build my app, I'll be able to uh, uh, send push notifications through this uh, interface on the uh, Titanium website. Uh, we'll also want to be able to send um, push notifications through the cloud services pro provided by AppCelerator, and so we'll do that as well. Um, but as far as this, um, this episode is concerned, uh, we're done with uh, what we need to do um, so far. Uh, in the next episode, we will look at the application, we'll build that application, and um, we'll send some push notifications um, through, the, uh, uh, through the site. Anyway, that concludes this uh, lesson.